And like I said, you rub the stomach in a circular motion and it will help stimulate him. Yeah. And this is the runt of the litter. Okay. All right. Now, to prevent them from going all over the place, I will wrap him up like a little burrito. And that helps a lot. I always put this in there, not that delicate. Put the bottle in, hold his head, and get it in position, and he will drink. See? And he's going to want his little paws out now. They always do. There you go. They like that. Now, their stomach is very tiny. You never put a kitten on its back because the, water, the milk will go into its lungs and drown it. So he's like in a standing position now. He could be on his stomach if he lets you do it that way, the way he would nurse off his mother. But this particular litter likes to be in this held up position where the tushy is parallel to the floor. And I just support the back and he'll drink until he's finished drinking. And then sometimes he'll burp and then drink a little more. So you could try burping them once they stop. The problem with kittens could be coccidia, which is, uh, you'll see it's a parasite. And it will be in the in the feces, and it will kill a kitten within three days. This parasite just eats away at their intestinal tract. So one way to spot it is a really curdled-looking feces that stinks like vomit. It smells incredible for such a small little animal to do. And that's one way to spot it. The other thing is blood in the feces. Now, he didn't drink very much yet right now, but he'll come at it again. He looks like he's falling asleep. <laughs> Um, some people burp them, and it kind of wakes them up a little bit. Very light pats. Yeah, okay. So that's the thing with the coccidia is you need to see a vet. You can't treat it yourself. He'll probably give you Albon to give them. And that's for a treatment. Sometimes it's 10 days, sometimes it's 21 days. And then stop a week and start it up again for another 21 days. But it's a do no harm. So if a kitten is not thriving, all right, there you go. If a kitten is not thriving, it's a possibility that there's coccidia. You could give them the Albon and they'll start thriving again and it'll be fine. Um, and it's it won't hurt them to get the, the Albon just as a supportive care. It's like deworming them. Um, okay, he's a little bit funny. Okay, I'm going to get back to him. He drank a little bit. Don't let the milk dry up on their faces because it becomes like scab and it, it's once it peels off their faces, it leaves a bald spot. Um, I can I can stimulate him again, but I'm going to let him rest. I'm going to put him back and let him rest and start on another kitten. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up the next kitten. I always do it in the same order. See, this one peed already. And this is why I take them to the sink and I run a little water. And I run a little water because you don't want that urine to dry on them. Hygiene is very, very important with these kittens. And there we go. Okay, this is, this is a lot of poo. And this is typical kitten poo. I'm going to go back that way because I need to get another dry one. And you, you can't lose your momentum with them because the minute you stop, they lose their momentum. And they can't always get it back. This one's going to do some more. I can see he's going to do more. He's lying limp and he's pushing. Okay, you're done, sweetie? Okay. Oh, yes, you did a good job. Okay. Okay. Now, once you stimulate them, he's awake and he should be ready for the bottle. So, like I said, we wrap them up like a little burrito and that keeps them from struggling all over the place, although they will anyway. And I put it in sideways, slide it in, find the center. And once they get the milk, they usually realize, oh, it's food time. Start holding them up in the air like this. I'm going to bring them over here. Because I usually hold them up to my chest, and that stabilizes them. And I don't know, maybe the heartbeat helps them a little bit. You're being a little pain today. I'm going to sit down. Come here, sweet baby. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yes, you did poopy. I know you did, and you did pee pee too. You were very good. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come here. You're hungry. I know you're hungry. Yes, it's been two hours. There you go. Yeah. yeah it's been two. You don't want it just now? <laughs> when they do that, just don't don't fight with them. Go to the next kitten and come back. 
He may not be awake yet. All right. So I usually do this one last. This is Bursa. And a little water. Drizzle it on her to get the urine out. And she's rolling over. She has something to give me here. Okay, Ursa. Go ahead, Mama. That's a good girl. Okay, there it comes. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. All right. Now, Ursa, I know, had a little problem with consultation, so I'm going to give her... She's. It looks like the last time she cleared it, but I'm going to use the dried one because it has a little more abrasiveness to it, but not too much. Yeah. And we'll see if 